Yo, 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 what's good, world? Y'all already know, man. It's your boy Gio back with another one, man. Like I didn't leave, man. I ain't go nowhere, man. I got to tell y'all about this crazy topic here, man. And condolences to the friends and family, everyone that was involved, or everyone that's close to this particular person. This is a young female. I think she was like 19 or 21, man. She passed in the Walmart, you know, um, and, uh, man, in the oven part, man, she was stuck in there and she couldn't get out, man. This is ridiculous, man. So I'm pretty sure, I don't know if Walmart's going to have a lawsuit behind this or, you know, what's going gonna to happen moving forward. But I'm going to tell you, they're going to have to make that a lot more safer because that can happen again. That's a lot of lawsuits and a lot of money that they would be facing. So they're going to definitely have to correct that error that just happened man this lady just lost her life man that's unfortunate man this is crazy news man and um you know like i said prayers to the family and friends man it's a sad situation that you know things like this happen especially if you at work and you know you at work and you wind up passing away and man what kind of mess is that this is that's 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 crazy man like you know that's 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 tough, man. That's scary for people that go to work and knowing that they're not coming home because they passed at work. You know, this happened before. I mean, on other videos I've posted and things and such, man. Um, I just need y'all to check this one out, man. Let me know what y'all think about this whole situation with this Walmart, man. Do y'all think they're gonna have a lawsuit or do y'all think they're gonna have something to settle with this? And um. As far as compensation wise, it's never gonna make it better. But the best thing they can do is do something like that for the family, man, for their pain and suffering. Do y'all think that's gonna happen? Drop it in the comments, man. Let's talk about this one as well, man. And um, hit the subscribe button, man. Hit that thing up, man. Subscribe, subscribe, man. I appreciate all y'all, man. We're growing, we're getting bigger, man. And uh, we're gonna expand this bad boy out, man. Like I mentioned to y'all, we're gonna have a lot of merch. A lot of opportunities to connect with me uh more so especially the members when you had that membership as well i'm gonna connect with the, each and every single one of y'all regardless man and uh it's gonna be a lot of uh things that we're gonna be having man because y'all are all family we all connected man that's how we're gonna be rocking on this channel here man that's how we rocking period man and um you know till then man y'all stay safe stay warm man stay blessed man stay happy i'm gonna catch y'all on the next one man i'm out bakery said that there was a release button in our walk-in oven. If it is closed for any reason and you press it, it will release the latch and the oven will open. Some people say the button is broken, but she cannot accidentally close it, either by herself or by someone else. If it is not pushed or pulled into place, those doors will not close on their own, let alone automatically lock. Some people say that the oven is opened from the outside through a button and someone must open it. In addition... Hey y'all, guess what? I just got a message across my phone says that 51 stores in Texas, Walmarts, are closing. I didn't get the date. It just went across my phone. 51 stores, they all closing on the same day. What's going on in Texas? That don't sound right. Hey, if y'all know anything, talk to me below. But it just said, breaking news. 51 stores around Texas. They all closing in the same day. What are they preparing for, Texas? Y'all know something we don't know? Breaking news, authorities have now released new details regarding the Walmart employee that was cooked alive inside of the walk-in oven. It has now been revealed that the walk-in oven in the Walmart did not lock. However, this now raises new disturbing questions regarding the October 19th passing. As you may recall, previous reports highlighted the 911 call that said the woman was, quote, trapped inside of the oven. Dispatch could be heard saying, quote, female locked in an oven in the bakery. 
Oven is on, unsure if staff is able to turn it off. By the time first responders arrived to the scene, they told dispatch that the woman, quote, was out of the oven. However, she succumbed to her injuries at the scene. A police officer investigating the situation called it, quote, complex. The oven was an industrial size oven large enough for a person to step inside. They have also now confirmed that the woman who passed was working that day. They have also issued a, quote, stop work order for one of the items in the bakery. However, they will not specify which piece of equipment has the order. Furthermore, the victim's identity has not yet been confirmed nor released, and authorities are asking for speculation to please stop. To stay up to date on this case, make sure you click the playlist below. I'll keep you guys updated. What do you think? Drop in the comments. Several sources said that the woman who died in the Walmart of an accident was called Punjabi, and she was a temporary foreign worker. Although the authorities have not released any official information about what happened, who she is, or anything similar, it is circulating everywhere on social media. Former and current employees of other Walmart stores all said that this was an almost impossible accident. This is the large walk-in oven in this incident, which can accommodate approximately one to two people and can reach a maximum temperature of 300 degrees Celsius. The worker said there was a knob inside the oven that could be used in emergency situations, but the button malfunctioned that day, causing Punjabi to be trapped inside. But more people say that this oven must be opened from the outside by someone. On that day, some customers heard her screaming, but no one was able to find her and rescue her. Some people say that this incident was a racially motivated murder because according to neighbors, the 19-year-old victim was a member of the Sikh community, but she was notorious for malicious attacks. But no matter how this happened, her death will be painful. Pray for this poor girl. You now has locked in an oven in the bakery. Oven is on. Unsure if the staff are able to turn it off. Dispatch to Station 5, 5 Engine for technical rescue, 6990 Mumford Road, Walmart. Breaking news, authorities have now released new details regarding the Walmart employee that was cooked alive inside of the walk-in oven. It has now been revealed that the walk-in oven in the Walmart did not lock. However, this now raises new disturbing questions regarding the October 19th passing. As you may recall, previous reports highlighted the 911 call that said the woman was, quote, trapped inside of the oven. Dispatch could be heard saying, quote, female locked in an oven in the bakery. Oven is on, unsure if staff is able to turn it off. By the time first responders arrived to the scene, they told dispatch that the woman, quote, was out of the oven. However, she succumbed to her injuries at the scene. A police officer investigating the situation called it, quote, complex. The oven was an industrial size oven large enough for a person to step inside. They have also now confirmed that the woman who passed was working that day. They have also issued a, quote, stop work order for one of the items in the bakery. However, they will not specify which piece of equipment has the order. Furthermore, the victim's identity has not yet been confirmed nor released, and authorities are asking for a speculation to please stop. Breaking news, authorities have now released new details regarding the Walmart employee that was cooked alive inside of the walk-in oven. It has now been revealed that the walk-in oven in the Walmart did not lock. However, this now raises new disturbing questions regarding the October 19th passing. As you may recall, previous reports highlighted the 911 call that said the woman was, quote, trapped inside of the oven. Dispatch could be heard saying, quote, female locked in an oven in the bakery. Oven is on, unsure if staff is able to turn it off. By the time first responders arrived to the scene, they told dispatch that the woman, quote, was out of the oven. However, she succumbed to her injuries at the scene. A police officer investigating the situation called it, quote, complex. The oven was an industrial size oven large enough for a person to step inside. They have also now confirmed that the woman who passed was working that day. They have also issued a quote stop work order for one of the items in the bakery. However, they will not specify which piece of equipment has the order. Furthermore, the victim's identity has not yet been confirmed nor released and authorities are asking for speculation to please stop. To stay up to date on this case, make sure you click the playlist below. I'll keep you guys updated. What do you think? Drop in the comments. We'll begin in Halifax, where there's been a new development in the investigation into the death of a 19-year-old Walmart employee. Police are now confirming the woman's body was found inside of a large walk-in oven belonging to the store's bakery department. Our investigators are working with the Nova Scotia uh, Medical Examiner Service and Occupational Health and Safety to determine the uh, manner and cause of death. While the identity of the woman has not been released, the Maritime Sikh Society says she was a member of the community who moved to Nova Scotia two or three years ago. It comes as rumors about the death are circulating online. 
Police are urging residents not to speculate. They have not released a cause of death, saying the investigation is complex. The store remains closed, and Walmart says it is supporting its employees and offering counseling. Breaking news. The 911 emergency service phone revealed how a 19-year-old Walmart employee was trapped in an oven, losing life in high temperatures. She got trapped inside while cleaning the walk-in oven in the bakery. A dispatch official described the ongoing tragedy to the police, revealing that a woman was locked in a bakery oven while the oven was on, uncertain if the staff is unable to close it. Dispatch to Station 5, 5 Engine, for a technical rescue call, the Mumford, at Wal uh, Mumford Road, Walmart, 6990 Mumford Road. Female has locked in an oven in the bakery. Oven is on. Unsure if the staff are able to turn it off. Dispatch to Station 5, 5 Engine, for a technical rescue, 6990 Mumford Road, Walmart, the bakery. Time to page 2122. Call will be on Ops 4, Ops 4. Dispatch, 9 Engine, just looking for an update. 9 Engine, uh, update regarding ETA for EAS or for being assigned to me. I'll update. Let's see what I can do. Dispatch to 9 Engine. Go ahead. Uh, with the person trapped in the, uh, on their, uh, do you have the power shut off for that? Does that to turn the power off? She's in there. Okay, then for the, uh, do make contact back, just tell them to shut the power off. Dispatch from Upper Command. Go ahead, Commander. I just got the last part of the conversation. I think it was with the divisional commander. Uh, the uh, person who was out of the, uh, the oven upon arrival, uh, we're just dealing with uh, regional police at this point right now. Copy all. This rescue got gore. Uh, Steve Weiss, I uh, wasn't aware that the call was still ongoing. I thought this just came in. You take me off the call. We'll be back in service back at dispatch channel. Dispatch rescue 48. Copy. There's code one. Copy. Dispatch from upper command. 19-year-old Walmart employee died on shift over the weekend. Now the public is desperate for answers as an investigation into her death continues. On October 19th at approximately 9.30 p.m., uh, we received a, a call to the Walmart at 6990 Mumford Road in Halifax uh, for a report of a sudden death uh, where there was a 19-year-old female who was also a store employee uh, located deceased. Sources tell Global News the incident involved a large bakery oven, but officials aren't sharing the cause of death. Uh, we are aware of comments on social media, uh, but we just ask the public once again for their patience uh, throughout our investigation. And uh, we ask that uh, people be mindful that uh, of the family, family members involved and the co-workers. He adds officers are working closely with Occupational Health and Safety and the Nova Scotia Medical Examiner Service. On Sunday, Walmart told Global News they are heartbroken and their thoughts are with the family. They directed all further questions to investigating officers, adding 24-7 virtual care and grief counselling are available to staff. Meanwhile, the Maritime Sick Society is meeting to discuss how they can best support the family. It's really sad for us, for all, all our community. And I just want to give a message for all of us. There should be, you know, kind of safety procedures we should follow. I mean, you have heard like it was brutal. Police say the investigation is still in its early stages and no further details are available at this time. Halifax police uh, were investigating what they have described as a sudden death of a 19 year old, a female employee at a Walmart. Her body was found at the store 930 p.m. on Saturday night. The female was uh, located in a, the walk in oven in the bakery within the store. That's part of our investigation, which is ongoing at this time. Police caution against jumping to any conclusions as to the nature of the, this death. They say that they have not yet determined the manner in which she died uh, or the cause of death here. That part of the investigation could take, quote, a significant amount of time and that they are working with occupational health and safety in the province as well as the Nova Scotia Medical Examiner's Office. Her name has not been released publicly. On Sunday, the Maritime uh, Sick Association confirmed that she is a member of the local sick community and in that interview alluding to the fact that uh, she had immigrated to Canada at some point. There are flowers outside of the store, notes being left in condolence and in memory of her. What is Walmart actually hiding? So in 2015, Walmart abruptly closed in various locations, mainly in Ohio, all citing plumbing problems. Initially, no one thought anything of it, but things started getting stranger by the day. Well, you see, people found it weird that the plumbing problems were so severe. 
that it required six months to fix. Soon after, military personnel were seen moving in and out of the closed locations, building what seemed like defenses around the empty shopping mall. It seemed very apparent that something was going on under the stores. This is where it's getting crazy. In one instance, uh, a lady, I don't remember her name, but whatever, who managed to break past the barrier recounted that upon entering the closed supermarket, she was shocked to find a giant hole dug up in the center of the store. She also stated that there were black tentacles coming out of the hole, and inside the hole itself, there was a red slimy substance. Even though you can watch the video she recorded by clicking on this icon, on more, and finally on YouTube, everyone is still wondering.